Hi everyone and welcome back to the series of videos I'm doing this September on chimes, the six reasons why people slip. And today I'm going to delve into a recent example or a case study of how heel is really good uh, control measure to reduce the likelihood of slips and falls. So let's have a look at this recent study carried out by the University of York in conjunction with the HSE. So given the background of the sheer volume of slips and falls within the healthcare world, it was decided by uh, the University of York uh, in conjunction with the Health and Safety Executive Leeds Teaching Hospital NHS Trust and the University of Leeds um, to look at a trial of footwear. If you cast your mind back to yesterday's video, you know that footwear can be an excellent control measure when it comes to members of staff because it is possible if you issue PPE uh, to control what members of staff are wearing on their feet. And anything that you can control in this world of slips and falls is something that you should consider as part of a holistic approach. So what did they do? Across these seven NHS trusts, they got 50% of staff to volunteer to wear their own choice of shoes to work. And the other 50% were given shoes with the HSE highest grip rating of five stars. And they ran this trial over 14 weeks. Now, those people that volunteered to wear their own shoes didn't miss out because at the end of the trial, they also got given a pair of five star grip rated shoes as well. Uh, but for the purposes of gathering the data, they wanted to have a 50-50 split. So across these 14 weeks, the results were that there was a 37% reduction in slipping at work and a 49% reduction in falls for the staff members wearing the grip rated shoes. Now, if we think about that across the number of slips and falls happening across the country, where there are hundreds of thousands of these taking place each year, think about what a 37% reduction would do to the number of people getting hurt, the number of lives being shattered, the number of insurance claims and the cost of those claims and of course that massive massive human cost so this really shows that if you can get your footwear right for your staff if it is something that you can control there are some massive massive improvements you can make in reducing the likelihood of slips and falls in your business i hope you found that useful guys and if you'd like to learn more about the grip scheme I'll put a link in to the comments below to both that as well as the study as well. I'll see you tomorrow for the next of these September videos where I'm gonna actually move away from chimes and give you a bit of background on myself and my journey and really my why, I suppose, for the want of a better term, as to why I'm so passionate uh, about this field of safety and risk. And then on Monday next week, we'll continue on with our chimes odyssey or our Chimes journey, uh, perhaps in a less, um, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a less um, exuberant way of saying it. Uh, and we'll move on from uh, H to I. So we'll be looking at individual, which is all around the human factors. Uh, interestingly, I did a poll uh, on LinkedIn a few weeks ago and asked which of the factors um, that cause slips did people feel was the most uh, the biggest cause of contributing to accidents, an individual came out on top, human factors. So we'll start digging into that next week. Cheers. Mm -hmm.